Hello, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to talk about variables, literals, and assignment statements. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to talk about is the overall concept, and that is that variables represent storage locations in the computer's memory, and literals are constant values that get assigned to the variables. So let's write a program to illustrate these concepts. I'll simply write a program that creates or defines a variable, and we'll call that variable number. And then I'll have an assignment statement, and that is going to assign to that variable a value. And when I have a statement int number with the semicolon at the end, this is a variable definition. And in this assignment statement on line 10, number equals 13, 13 is an integer literal. So we're assigning that 13, that integer literal, to the variable number. And then we can use a cout statement to display the contents of the variable. So I could do something like this, cout the number is, and then we'll send to cout the variable, and then cout will extract that value from the variable and display that on the screen. So the string here, I should point out, the number is, that is a string literal. So the number is, that is known as a string literal. So 13 is an integer literal because that is a 13 and it's an integer. And then this string right here is a literal. And I should define literal. When we talk about a literal, we're talking about a piece of data that is written directly into the program's code. So 13 integer literal, the number is string literal, but you can have a floating point literal. You can have a floating point literal such as 19.95, right? This would be an example of a floating point literal. You could have a character literal such as A inside of single quotes. That's a character literal. So literals oftentimes or usually get assigned to variables via the assignment statements such as what you see on line 10. Now note that you have to have a definition for every variable you use or intend to use in a program. So in C++, you can define variables anywhere you want within your program. So for example, I could come down here and I could say int number two, and then I could assign to it a completely separate integer literal, say like 77. And then I could use another sales statement here and I can say the second number is and then i'll display that on the screen okay so let's go ahead and compile and run that just to test to make sure everything works big ideas here you define a variable you assign a literal to that variable using an assignment statement literals are data that gets written in your code literally in your code now one last thing to mention here sometimes a number isn't a number so let us say that i decided that i wanted to create another variable, I wanted to define another variable, and then I wanted to assign to it something that looks like this. So you see how I got the red squiggle there? This is invalid syntax because that five isn't an integer literal, it's not a number, it's a string. Anything inside of double quotes is a string. So this five here isn't an integer, it's the character five. So that's invalid syntax because you can't assign a string literal to an integer variable. So the five in double quotes is not the same thing as the integer five, all right? So that five in double quotes is a string literal and the five without it is an integer literal, all right? So now you know the difference between literals, variables, and what an assignment statement is. And you've seen examples of different types of literals integer literal, floating point literal, character literal, and a string literal. Thanks for watching.